the historic day here in Washington, where President Trump pleaded not guilty to federal charges stemming from the special counsel's investigation into January 6th. To wrap this all up for us, CBS News political director Finn Gomez is back with us now. Finn, good to see you again. Thanks for all your reporting today. Um, we just heard from our panel this, you know, kind of assessment of the 2024 race, because I just feel like it has to be reiterated that uh, a former president uh, now under three <laughs> indictments is also the front runner for the Republican nomination. And what is so fascinating to me as we've assessed this race is that um, he continues to, you know, at least stay as the front runner, even as the indictments come. And you and I have both been talking to his Republican rivals, Republican campaigns, uh, who are trying to navigate all of this. And it just doesn't feel like there's an appetite among the base for criticism of him during this indict during these indictments. I'm curious kind of what you've been hearing from other campaigns about how they go about this. Yeah, exactly that, Caitlin. And in what I've been hearing, I spoke to a campaign manager who spoke on background. He did not want to spoke on the condition of anonymity, so he could speak to mm -hmm. me. But he did say uh, that uh, that he thought that Donald Trump uh, would likely spend the next four years. There's a better chance of him spending the next four years in prison than in the Oval Office. But he also said that he feels that uh, that this storyline, that these investigations, that is just completely suffocating uh, the other the other uh, issues mm -hmm. that are important to Republican voters on the campaign trail. Uh, one other senior advisor told me uh, that you know one of the big questions they have is how do you attack Trump without upsetting Republican voters, mm -hmm. and and that's mm -hmm. something you hear this echo of like how to break through. Uh, this mm -hmm. this dominant dominant topic of this Republican race, something we have not seen before yeah. uh, ever in history, frankly. Yeah, and it's really interesting too because uh, uh, some Republicans I've been talking to have made the point that the Republican Party base at this point, Republicans who show up in primaries and caucuses, so that's kind of what matters now. Um, they view these these as the president described them today, political prosecutions, mm -hmm. and so to as it's been explained to me to kind of go after him is to side with um, Democrats, the media, everyone in Washington. Uh, but at the same time, you know, if you have the front runner facing all of these challenges, how else do you break through, if not that? Exactly, and it, they, they're almost politically handcuffed, mm. uh, they feel, because they can't, they can't, they can't, if they come out and criticize him, they risk irking the, the base, mm. you know? And, but I did speak to uh, one of these uh, senior advisors told me that if you, yes, the national polling, you know, you saw the CNN, CNN poll that came out mm -hmm. these last couple of days showing him his, his, his dominance again in the Republican Party, uh, neck to neck with Joe Biden. If, you know, if, the, if that election were held today, and those two were matched up. Mm -hmm. uh, but also um, within, you know, the, the New York Times Siena poll, which saw him so far ahead. Uh, but they believe, this, this senior advisor believes that they still uh, can at some point uh, mm -hmm. turn the page and say, look, Donald Trump, we appreciate you, but with all this invest all these investigations, all this yeah. black cloud hovering over you, uh, it's time to hand over hand over the torch to someone else. Yeah, and that seems to be kind of the play here is to let the fatigue of all of these investigations kind of settle in yeah. with voters without being the person that's driving uh, that against Trump. Um, so it seems like the debate stage could be right. the place where maybe some of this gets sussed out. I mean, but Donald Trump may not show. He may not show, and uh, he's got other things to do also. Um, uh, he has said, uh, both publicly and his senior advisors have told us that, uh, you know, why show up if he's so far ahead? You know, mm. it, it's going from, he's varsity and they're JV is what, I, what I've heard. But, uh, you know, uh, as we mentioned before, uh, just the three days after that first debate is uh, potentially yeah. the first pretrial uh, uh, hearing yeah. in this case. The magistrate judge just just mentioned that today, and, and then there's you know a couple of days before that Republican debate is is a, is a Florida case uh, mm -hmm. hearing. I mean, he, this is just again so unprecedented. Mm -hmm. We we I, a, by presidential cycles, <laughs> CHP, I've that you've covered never seen this a campaign that will be defined by these legal challenges, um, and we'll see that play out in public view. Finn Gomez, thank you very much.